Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, we'll be unboxing quite a few models. There's, um, I believe, there's nine um, models in these two boxes. So yeah, so they're quite the models I've been after for quite a while. Yeah, but I'm glad I attained them, obtained them finally. So let's get stuck into it. As you can see, it's quite hot today, 35.3 degrees in Sydney right now. I am uh, sweating my ass off, so... It's not as hot where I am right now, which is um, close to the water, so... Which is good. So, in these two boxes, I believe I have uh, eight Hero Classics models and uh, one Gemini Jets model. The one Gemini Jets is pretty uh, old, actually, but... um. A couple of the Aero Classics release, uh, Aero Classics models are from last month's releases and uh, the previous month after that, December I believe, so let's get stuck into a May. So I think I'll open this one first. Uh, this one came from uh, Kuala Lumpur, so very fast, ordered it about a week ago actually and it arrived last night. So. And all these models I've been after for quite a while, like one of them quite a while. cool down a lot now which is good And here we have the models, um, they're wrapped really nicely, all have separate buckle wrap around them. I bought like three of them in a set. Thought originally it was supposed to have four, but I asked to sell it, so they only give me 
the free for a reduced price because I already had one of the models. So. So here's model number one we have. Here we have our model number one which is uh, the Transmile 727-200 by Aero Classics. Wanted this one for ages. And uh, model number two is uh, Magnantara Air 727-200 by Aero Classics. This is a freight airline that was owned by Transmile. Indonesia, in, in, in Indonesia, Transmile is a Malaysian uh, company, so. Let's get these other two out. I'm a big fan of the 727, so uh, my main collecting criteria is uh, any 747, try and get as many 747 uh, as I can, and 727 and A340. So, yeah, these are nice additions to my 727 fleets. Here we have the uh, Air Macau, Air Macau Cargo 727-200 by Aero Classics. And then B-Man Bangladesh uh, DC-10 by Gemini. This one's a really old model, it's probably like 2000 and... Uh, 2003, so yes, really, um, 18 years old now. So that's batch number one, box number one, unboxed. Big boy box number two. Mm -hmm. I believe there are five in here. All uh, Aero Classics. This one's from uh, Collectors Aircraft Models Australia. Really good store if you. Um, Really good model store if you're ever looking for something rare, something like that. Located in Melbourne, Australia, so I believe it's the only Aero Classics dealer here, so it's nice. Let's have a peek inside. So 
this is uh, model number one, which is a uh, TAP Portugal symbol 7200 by Classics. This is a Jetstar A321 by Aero Classics. Kind of an old model this one, but been aiming to get one for a while. And here we have three more 727s. This is uh, the Iran Air, Iran Asaman Airline 727. Uh, fun fact is Amas uh, Asaman means uh, per I mean uh, sky in Persian so I've been wanting this model to be released for all, ages now because it's, it's one of the last 727s to fly um, RPT flights for passengers they're gone they retired a couple of years ago I think The uh, Aviasca 727200, which is a, which was a Mexican budget airline, which has um, gone bust. And finally, we have the Ethiopian 727200 um, released with, along with the Aviasca 727 last month in January. So. Nice to have an African 727 in the um, collection. So a nice pile going on over there. And uh, that is all, all nicely wrapped. Yeah, Collectors Aircraft Models Australia is a really good uh, retailer. You should definitely check them out. So uh, let's get them unboxed, I guess. Let's unbox the oldest first, shall we? So here we have the uh, box, front of the box, old classic Gemini Jets, um, kind of colours and everything, got like the bolt, metal, um, graphics, an upper um, high angle view of, um, aircraft, view, of the, uh, view of the aircraft flying, and then the air airline and logo, aircraft type. And the manufacturer logo. All the old school jazz here for all the Gemini releases. Sierra 2, Alpha, Charlie, Q Q Quebec. And then the back of the box. Got some details. And the standard uh, information about the aircraft type here. And then there's the bad boy there. As you can see, the cradle has uh, yellowed due to age, but that's just normal. I got this model primarily because it was one of the last, um, it was the last air passenger DC-10s to fly, so I never got around to seeing it because I kind of retired before I was old enough to travel by myself, so I would have loved to fly no, fly no one. And here we have the model here. Really nice um, 
Gemini Jet's older releases are always really consistent and I wish they maintained the same standard as back then as they do now, so. So let's review it. So here we have the uh, the nose, nose cone, nose, cockpit window, L1 door, windows, yes. Business class, I guess. Um, Bangladesh Airlines. L2 door. Uh, nose landing gear. Sorry about that. And uh, Bangladesh Airlines. Emergency exit. Uh, exit. Emergency exits. Uh, CF6. 50 engines looking really nice they've got that uh, hand grenade look to them got the butt BMN logo on the engine got the wing, wings really nice leading edge got the ailerons flapper on there and then inner aileron and then I uh, got the flap extension the flaps there where the flaps would come out and the speed brakes spoiler patterns there now we've got the L3 back door we've got the tail tail looking beautiful we've got the B-Man um, logo there and we've got the uh, I guess that says B-Man in uh, Bangladi Bangladi or subscrete language writing We've got the horizontal stabilizer and the uh, exhaust of the uh, or the rear of the CF650, the number two engine. Looks beautiful from the front. Classic DC10 look. On the right side, one side's in uh, subscrete and the other side's in English writing. And uh, Bangladeshi flag, R1 door, R2 door, cargo hold, exit, emergency exit, right side, CF650 again, and then uh, wing, all looking very nice. Then B men on the right side of the tail. I like how these um some of these Asian airlines put one side in the character the um riding of the home country and the other side riding English riding, so it's always cool. Makes it interesting to look at from both sides. Landing to landing is very nice um, given the age of the model. DC10 Gemini DC10 mold's pretty good, and uh, that's, I guess I'll wrap on that. I give this model for its age, taking its age into account, probably a eight out of ten. I do like my DC10s and dry holders, so it will go nicely with my other. DC-10s and uh, especially my Hawaiian DC-10 I got last year, another old release, bare metal. So let's move on to the, uh, our next one I guess. So uh, next up let's do the uh, Air Macau Cargo 727 I guess, I'm not quite sure which order these are released, these are released, so um, I assume they were released around the same time. Because this is like a series era classics did CJ wings. The box looking good. Just uh, 
No, it's not the most decorative, but yeah. This is a box, right? I really like this livery on the R727. Uh, well, I like this livery on gen in general. And here we have the model. a pen uh, here we have it looks very nice so there's the uh, nose cone nose cone cockpit window I got window out eyebrows. These generally aren't really liked by pilots because the sun glares in. It's bad for glare as a lot of sun gets in through them. Um, looks like the Malaysian flag there because this is this aircraft was uh, leased by Transmal to Air Macau Cargo, so hence the Malaysian registration. Uh, we have the L1 door. Landing gear, nose landing gear, and Macau uh, riding, cargo left, uh, cargo door, main cargo door. Um, Air, I guess that says Air Macau in uh, Chinese characters. Uh, emergency exit, uh, wing, wing's very good. The inner aileron, outer aileron, spoilers. Leading edge, and uh, I guess that says cargo in Chinese characters. The Red Joe uh, Niner Mike Tango Golf Alpha, and we've got the uh, two two J three JT eight D engines here. It's looking very nice. We've got the uh, Air Macau logo here. And then we've got the horizontal stabilizer, and then the number two engine exhaust. Spinning her around. The tires do roll on all Aero Classic 727s, and then uh, yeah, pretty much is the same on the other side too. Looks really nice this one. We'll have to get a Air Macau A321 or something to go with it. Because it'll look a bit lonely by itself. Yes, yeah, so a very good addition to my collection, and I believe this is a 727 number 26. So let's get stuck into the next one. Here we have the uh, Megan Tara Air 727. Sorry I didn't um, film me unboxing it, but everything's pretty much the same. The box is pretty much 99% identical to the other um, ones of this series, so let's get started. Here's the uh, nose cone, cockpit windows, um, cockpit eyebrows, uh, Indonesian flag, L1 door, the star logo, Bagantara Air, um, the cargo um, door, main cargo door, wing, wing looking all nice, standard uh, Air Classic 727 Jazz, emergency exits, uh, L2 door, the JT8Ds, the mighty JT8D engines, number 2 engine exhaust, Horizontal stab stabilizers. Kind of a plain delivery this one, but uh, 
Oh well. Any livery looks good on a 727 in my opinion, so... Spin it around. Pretty much identical the other side. R1 door, R2 door. Very nice. The 727 didn't really ever take off in, in Indonesia, so now I really have a few operators of it, but it's always good to have one, you know, to put in your Indonesian uh, section. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? My favourite and most anticipated. My favourite, yeah. So here's the Apicola litter. My favourite of the three in the, the three in the set, or they were supposed to be four, as I mentioned before, but here is my favourite. Our, our Transmar was um, it's based in Subang, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. And uh, they, were, they were one of the, uh, well, they became Ray Airways, they are, they are now Ray Airways, but they were the last, um, Ray Airways were the last 727 operators in Asia. So, uh, really nice to, uh, Get this model. Um, so here we have the, uh, the nose nose cone, nose cone, cockpit, windows, eyebrows, copy eyebrows, Malaysian flag, L1 door, nose gear. Uh, Chinese, some Chinese characters, I think they are. I'm not sure what they say. Uh, Transmile, Transmile uh, titles. Uh, main cargo door. Asia serving the world. They got rid of these, um, a lot of these features on the livery after quite a while, I think 2012 or so. The wing, wing looking very nice as always. Standard Era Classics Jazz L1 door L2 L2 door, pardon me um, JT8 engines and the nice Transmile logo there the Red Joe Niner Mike Tango Golf November I have seen uh, Tango Golf Golf Hotel and Tango Golf um, Echo in real life so in Ray, basic Ray Airways uh, livery, so one of their sister ships. On the other side, pretty much exactly the same. Really happy with this uh, model and uh, finally getting it. Probably be one of my favourite 727s in my fleet. I hope someone uh, releases a uh, Raya 727 200 in you know, the last colour scheme they wore. I know, I know MG models uh, released a 757, Ray Airway 757 last month in January, so let's uh, fingers crossed to the 727 Ray Airways. Move on to the next one. So next up, let's unbox the uh, Jetstar E321, been meaning to get one of these for a while actually and to be honest all now I need to complete my Jetstar fleet as a 787 so they'll be on your card, Phoenix probably 787 will be on the cards very short, very soon. Uh, I really like this um, Air Classics Aussie series boxes, looking good. Yeah, pretty much all the Australian releases by Air Classics come in these style boxes. So let's get stuck into it. Well everyone, you might have noticed that uh, the room has changed. This is because uh, my camera ran out of battery last night, so... Well, I was in the middle of the um, reviews, so... I had to uh, recharge the battery, and by the time I recharged it, it was too late to continue, so... We're in a different room now, and... Uh, I'll 
I'll try and uh, get all the um, aircraft that arrive together in the same um, shot shortly, but I'll review this first. Well, here we have a really nice model. You may notice that it's different from the others because it's not a classic, not so much a classic, so it's more modern this one, but I try and get all the Aussie releases made, uh, aircrafts made, so I've been meaning to get one of these for a while and one day I hope to uh, create a Sydney airport, hopefully, diorama, so we need quite a bit of room though, <laughs> but uh, here we go, um, let's, so as you can see the Aero Classics have one of the best A320 and A321 moulds out there, and uh, yeah, this is really nice. So uh, the nose nose cone, really nice, looking good. Cockpit windows, looking good. L1 door. Uh, Jetstar.com there. This is, uh, I believe this is one of their, not the last livery, the newest livery, but the livery before that. And uh, here are the IAE V2500 engines. Uh, air, uh, wings. Wing, wing fences uh, here you have the flaps, the uh, fuel tanks wing fuel tanks uh, you can see the spoilers here and ailerons there, ailerons and spoilers wings looking really good uh, L2 door L3 door Uh, the Red Joe, v Victor Hotel, uh, Victor Whiskey Tango, Airbus A321 there, uh, tail, Jetstar logo on the tail, I really do like the Jetstar livery though, it looks, um, it's probably one of the, my favourite Australian liveries out there, a horizontal stabiliser and elevator, Turning it to the other side, the right side. Look at it from a different angle. Looks very nice. So, uh, right side. Uh, R1 door, Jetstar.com logo uh, titles again. R2 door, right engine, leading edge of the wing. Boilers, etc., ailerons, wing fences, R2, R3 door, then R4 door, significantly longer than the AP20, this bird. And I'm not, not, I'm not sure if it's. But perhaps you just can't see the emergency exits, but. Not that familiar with the Avery 20 to be honest with you. But yeah, looking very nice there. Let's look at her from the, from the front. Yeah, if you haven't gotten this model um, already, guys, I'd definitely recommend it. Um, if you're into the Qantas group and uh, your fleet, Qantas fleet collector, etc. Yeah. An Aussie fleet, an Aussie collector. I'd definitely recommend uh, this model. Probably give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, I guess nine out of ten is a pretty solid mark for it. Um, the colours are really good, too. Definitely a nice addition to my Jetstar fleet. All I have to get now is a 787, so we'll def we'll, you'll be seeing an unboxing for the Jetstar 787 shortly, by Phoenix I think. Now I'll wrap on this, this girl here. Um, as you see, Aero Classics don't like um, aerials on their models. Um, it's not the end of the world, I don't know, really. I'm not fussed, fussed about them, but they would look nice. But 
if it had aerials, I might get this aircraft a 9.5 out of 10, but it's not the end of the world. The aerials would just make it more expensive, and uh, but uh, some people for them, some people for, uh, for aerials, some people are must have. Some people need aerials on their models, but uh. Alright, um, we'll wrap on that one guys. Uh, underside of the aircraft's looking really good, um, too. Here's the under Jetstar belly colours, all good. The landing gears are really nice. Alright, uh, registration, underside registration there. Here's the next model, the Aviasca 727-200, um, here's the box, box looks really nice, it's funny, Air Classics seem to um, either have really plain white boxes or really um, um, decorative boxes. X A S G J E. Here we've got a um, map of Latin America here, South America. So, very nice box. The reason I got this was uh, because I'm trying to get every Aero Classic 727 uh, or every 727 released, especially by Aero Classics, and uh, get as many airlines as I can. So, let's get stuck into it. Here we have the beauty. Um, looks really nice. I wish I could get one in the the newest scheme, the last scheme they wore, or 727 wore. Um, yeah, so this uh, nose section, nose cone, uh, cockpit windows, cockpit eyebrow windows, uh, nose gear, uh, L1 door. Aviasca titles, let's focus it in, uh, Mexican flag, emergency exits, emergency exit slides, wing set wing, inner aileron, outer aileron, uh, spoilers, leading edge, uh, aft section of the cabin, would have been all a uh, uh, bit uh, pro economy class on this on this airline just as a budget airline. And then we have the Red Joe, X-ray Alpha, Sierra Juliet Echo. Then we have the L2 door and the beautiful JT8Ds uh, and the number two exhaust and the number two engine. And then the tail, the uh, Aviasca livery, I mean uh, logo, and the horizontal stabilizer. Admire this beauty from a few different angles. Sold out pretty quickly this aircraft. These, um, Latin aircraft uh, seem to fly, uh, sell out very quickly, so I was lucky to get one. And uh, so, right side, we have the R1 door, Abiasca, Mexican flag, emergency exits, emergency slides, Red Jogan, and the left side of the um, JT8Ds. Bit of a plain livery, but pretty much 727 looks nice in every and any livery. So, <laughs> probably gonna get the Royal Air Morocco shortly too. That got released last with these. 
So this airline used to fly um, domestically in New Mexico and uh, they flew a few international routes to America, USA, um, I believe they flew to uh, Miami and yeah I can't remember where the other places they flew to but they um, they're shut down due to safety concerns. I believe they had a crash and yeah it's a bit of a dodgy airline but nice model anyway so I'll probably give this model probably a 9 out of 10 <laughs> a bit biased because I like 727's but Air Classics mold's pretty good actually yeah I definitely recommend this one if you're into 727's and Aladdin or Aladdin carriers so on to the next model Next up, let's review the Ethiopian 727, which is uh, also last month's in last month's release set. Um, as you can see, pretty plain old box, <laughs> nothing much to it. Be easy to get mixed up between uh, which which model which goes which model goes in each box because they're so identical without the uh, red Joe sticker there. Let's review it. So here we have the beautiful Ethiopian colour scheme or old colour scheme. And it looks very nice, especially on the 727. Very colourful. Nice to have an African uh, operator of the 727 in the collection. And so let's start the review. Um, so here we have the uh, nose cone. Uh, no section and the cockpit windows and uh, the cockpit eyebrows uh, landing gear, nose landing gear, L1 door I guess that's um, Ethiopian in I guess that's written Ethiopian in Ethiopian uh, language characters and we have the forward section of the ca cabin uh, Ethiopian titles and some beautiful artwork there I guess that's a lion or something Ethiopian titles and the emergency exits, emergency exit uh, door uh, slides, spoilers, inner aileron, uh, leading edge wings, um, what's it called, a gate to stop when the aircraft stalls to protect the inner side from inner wing from stalling, and then we have the wing tip. and the outer ailerons and then have the registration Echo Tango Alpha India Kilo it's a really nice scheme this one Alpha Hotel Kilo sorry and then we have the beautiful JTAD um, bare metal And then we have the beautiful tail, uh, red, uh, yellow, and green. And the number two exhaust, and the horizontal stabilizer. This is very nice. I'd have to give this model probably a night ten out nine point five out of ten. It looks the livery is beautiful, so definitely recommend getting this one, guys, if you're a seven two seven fan. Next up we have the Aran Asaman 727-200 um, As you can see again, a rather plain and boring old box but it's just a box Let's get stuck into it And here we have the model, um, this one was probably the most, this, this one was the one I was most excited about because um, I was nearly going to fly in this bird back in the day when um, Sam Chui was doing his Iran aviation tours but uh, unfortunately they just got called off he stopped doing them so yeah it would have been nice to fly in all these I do have a few friends who have flown on these um, on these and uh, so they are the last uh, PAX RPT 727 flights so 
a passenger flight, so yeah, so it's quite special. Um, especially to the 727 lovers like me that, oh well, we make it going to Iran would make it too hard to visit the US anyway. So here we have the nose cone, the nose section, the cockpit windows, eyebrows, L1 door, nose gear. Asaman Airlines and Asaman means sky in Persian. Iran flag, Iran flag. We've got that cool little wave livery, really nice livery. This one will go next to my well next to my JC wings A340. Emergency exits, uh, wing, inner aileron, outer aileron, spoilers, and then uh, the gate. The I've forgotten the actual aerodynamic name for that equipment that makes say stalling uh, so it doesn't stall I believe that in the wing only stalls and the outer wing gets gains lift that keeps some of its lift it's been a long way a while since I've studied aerodynamics and uh, I believe that's Persian riding I believe that's Persian riding it probably says Asaman or something like that um, maybe one of the per Iranian people be able to tell me what it says in the Red Joe, Echo Papa, Alpha Sierra Bravo and the L2 door and of course a lovely tail and the three JT8D engines with the number 2 exhaust looking good and the tail looking very nice on the other side Yep, R1 door, Aran Asaman, uh, Iran flag, beautiful waves there, the leading edge of the wing, spoilers, inner aileron, outer aileron, uh, number two engine. Yeah, so probably definitely give this model uh, ooh, probably a 9, eight, nine out of 10 <laughs> can't really find many flaws in these um, 727's anyway but uh, I could improve the nose a bit looks fine from upper angle but if you look at it side on, it kind of looks a bit pointy, but it's fine, I guess. Um, Gemini Jets version is kind of alright too, but it would be awesome to have a 727 with a perfect nose uh, like mould. So. Anyway, I'll conclude on that model, then nap to the next one, the big boy. And here we have the Aero Classics or Euro Classic series. Um, TAP Portugal 747-200 Oh, P obviously stands for Portugal so I said Portugal twice just then but <laughs> As you see the boxes box are alright, still better than the previous ones but Really nice to get this model finally, all oh, the box won't close properly there But yeah, really nice to get one of these now it would go nicely with my um tap A340. I hope to get a 747 uh, a 727 200 uh, tap one day. That's probably on my wanted list definitely. But uh, I've been trying to get every 747 Aero Classics released. I'm trying to get as many 747 libraries as I can. I believe. I'm sorry, a few more orders, I should be up to above 100747s in my collection, so I'm up to like 89 now, I think, so, <laughs> I love my 747s, so let's get stuck into this uh, Queen. So here, last but not least, here we have the beautiful uh, classic Queen in one of the uh, best 747 moulds out there. <clears throat> so uh, the nose is on point 
see what I did there. And uh, yeah, so you have the nose cone, nose section, cockpit, uh, cockpit windows, uh, wipers there, emergency emergency escape hatch, a Portuguese flag, the rear. Um, for first, probably like first class there, I get oh business class there. Not really sure on the seating configuration of these aircraft. Um, L1 door. Transportes Eros Portugues. Uh, L2 door. Got the little, uh, landing lights there. Leading edge wing. Uh, JT9D engines. Not the best model JT9Ds to be honest. They are missing it. They they are missing quite a bit of detail, including like the holes, the little holes that Gemini jets and others seem to do really well. But oh well. Um, the wing wing looking very good. You see the spoilers here in a uh, aileron and. Uh, Outer aileron here, uh, wing fuel tanks, and we've got the HF aerial here. Of course, the HF aerials are a bit too thick, but uh, if they stop them from breaking, I guess it's worth it. That's the emergency exit, um, L3 door, and L4 door, rear cabin. A horizontal stabilizer and uh, elevator. The Red Joe, uh, Charlie Sierra Tango Juliet Bravo. And the TAP um, abbreviations there. The old logo. I'll tell you what would be nice uh, if TAP operated one of these in the new color scheme. That would be very good. It's like my dream 747 livery to see. And then uh, got some details on the top here like the beacon light. Upper beacon light. Not sure what the black markings are but... And then the right side. Got the upper deck. Um, I guess the upper deck, right side door. Not sure what the proper term is for that. Portuguese flag. Um, R1 door. Main landing gear. The main landing gear, like the landing gear on these old um, Big Bird molds were like ahead of their generation. They were really detailed for their time. It's pretty much like a learning curve of what all manufacturers tried to do. Um, to their simple to all their like, models they tried to give them really like detailed landing gear like those but unfortunately they haven't really um uh like improved it since but like aerials but oh well as, as most a lot of people say why don't aero classics aircraft have aerials yet so i think the owner wants to do it but uh R1 door, R2 door, emergency exit, R3 door and R4 door and uh, of course the wing which is pretty much identical to the other side it's interesting how Gemini did this, I mean Air Classics did this model right, even when Gemini did this ages ago but uh, it's glad Glad that they did anyway, because the Gemini version is quite hard to find and it's quite expensive too, given its age and everything. But yeah, luckily I, I waited and this turned up and really got released. This thing about model aircraft collecting, you don't know when something is ever going to be really released by any other manufacturer. It's kind of you throw the dice and hope that. If it's a rare model, you pay the price, throw the dice, and hopefully it doesn't get re-released. It's 
it's kind of hard to predict what they're going to release in the future, but Aero Classics generally night do not do re-releases unless it's a different rego and it sold out really well prior to that. So yeah, so this is the last model um, of the batch that arrived. So I'll try and uh, I'll get them all together and have a bit of a show off of all the 727s lined up and everything but hope you enjoyed this oh model I'd probably give 8 out of 10 probably probably knock a point off for the lack of JT90 JT90 detail and uh, of course I, uh, and uh, yes the actually this it kind of looked like the HF aerials were a bit bent but they look pretty good so I'll yeah, probably give it a 8.5 out of 10 knocking a point off for the um the JT90 uh, details there could be a bit more wing detail I guess it's kind of not the most um feature feature for wings like the 727s I showed before but yeah pretty good model definitely recommend it if you're a fan of 747s and uh, or, t or TA or trans uh, TAP TAP Portugal uh, TAP Airlines so yeah especially if you love your classic liveries this is a very classic livery it's about as classic as they come so, uh, hope you enjoyed that, everyone, and uh, I'll get the shot of the, uh, I'll show the shots of the, all the aircraft together. See, ya. see. Ya. Anyway, everyone, here is all my models lined up, looking fine as all the new ones, so, especially the 727 lined up, line up, yeah. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video, if you um, did, please subscribe and um, like and all that jazz, and um, I'll speak to you in the next one, peace, cheers.